Hey, Bear. Hi, Monkey. Where are you going, babe? Well, I'm going to make some ice cream. You are? Yeah. Homemade ice cream? Yeah. We're going to make homemade ice cream. Okay. Well, how are we going to do it, babe? Well, I got some whipping cream. Okay. And we got some vanilla. Okay. And I got some sugar. And... <laughs> You mean salt? And some salt. Well, you said <laughs> I sugar. did it better. I yeah. Did it. Okay. Okay. So the salt, as you guys can see on here, says salt. Please don't mix them up because it will not turn out very well. What else you got, sweetie? Oh my! So <laughs> <laughs> and I got I got baggies. I got the gallon baggies, and okay. I did yeah. a double of the baggies. Okay, you doubled them up. Yeah, we're going to put ice in here, and I don't want it to leak everywhere. Okay, yeah, because they're not freezer bags, right? Right. They're just double ziplock, <laughs> which will be fine. And then we got the small one that we're going to put our ingredients okay, in. Okay, so what size is that? I don't A know. A quart or something? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. So, you ready? Yeah. Okay, we're going to do a small one. So, we're going to do half a cup. Now, it, this is just, what kind is that, babe? Show the, show the camera. Well, Can you see it? Well, okay, because they're, this is kind of important. Because this is just vanilla flavor. Right. If you use extract, you do not want to use that as much as you, yes, no. as much as, this is just flavoring. Now, extract is really strong, so you would use like a half a teaspoon. Right. right. Or to taste, but yes. So now what you want? Well, I'm trying to open the sugar. There we go. Okay. okay I'm gonna I'm gonna add just a little bit, maybe half a ta tablespoon. Half a tablespoon. Yeah. Okay. Now that's to taste as well, right? Right. To your taste. You know, it depends what size you're making. You can make it bigger and. And this know. is not precise either, as you can see. We're using just regular. A tablespoon and a teaspoon, right. but you can be precise if you want. No. Yeah, up to you. So then you take your little Ziploc baggie, and I think I should have got a Ziploc for this one too. It probably would have been easier, but I didn't. So I'm going to pour this in here. Well, it's a Ziploc. Yeah, well, it's not because it doesn't zip. It's like Well, a okay, what she's talking about, let's show them. And see this See one, this is a Ziploc baggie, but this one actually has the zipper on it. The yeah, the plastic thing yeah. that goes back and forth. These ones don't, but they're still Ziploc. But what she's saying is yes, that would be better. But you know, just use whatever you have on hand. What you want to do, you want to make sure there's no air in it. Just make sure there's not air in it. And then you can zip it up, okay? Okay. Alright. Now, now we gotta take the other baggies. Okay. And we're going to fill this up with ice. We're going to fill them up with ice. We're going to fill them up with ice. So it might take me a second. Are you going to fill them up? Or how much ice do you put in, in one of them? Mm, probably about to, to the white line. Well, maybe. about, yeah, about between halfway into the white line, depending on how much you're making, we're going to go about about halfway. Yeah. So, and, and these are gallon baggies. Right. Okay. And I doubled them because I just. Yeah, because they're they're not freezer bags, so she doubled them. Um, so again, let's. Uh, if you guys didn't see it, a reminder: the uh, Saturday, the fourteenth, I'm sorry, will be the giveaway for the little uh, action cam, and that is because we will have a half a million views, five hundred thousand views on our videos, which is not bad. Because we have, we only have, uh, what, 290 some videos. Mm -hmm. So a half a million views on them is pretty good and we appreciate that. So we just want to show our appreciation. What you, what you got there? I'm not going to use this one. 
No, don't use that one. What are you looking for? I got to open the ice up and smash it down. So it's going to take me a minute. So we bought ice just for you guys. See, that's why I'm going to the doctor. The ice maker does work. The ice maker does work, but what it is is it needs the uh, it needs the uh, valve that the, your water line screws into because what it does is like it'll leak through somewhere right there where you want to get your water out. It'll leak one on the right, it will sit and drip. Well, that being said, it will also do the same thing in the freezer, and you don't want that because then everything's going to get frozen. And so, it's like, uh, I don't know, like $15 part. I will do a video when I replace that, but that's what causes that, and I'll explain that to you later. But right now, we're making ice cream. So this is why we got bagged ice instead of using the ice maker. can't pick me up behind the camera because it's shotgun mic. Yeah. But it's a pretty good mic, but I'm just not sure. I just want our viewers to know what's going on here, huh? Yep. Okay. Okay. Now, what are you forgetting? Mm -hmm. What am I forgetting? What are you forgetting? Oh, I have to add the salt. <laughs> That's right. You, you have to add the salt. Because what does the salt do? It makes makes the ice cream. <laughs> well, you're making the ice cream. What the salt does, ladies and gentlemen, okay, folks, what that salt does. Now, how much are we putting in? We're just guessing right now, but we're going to say about a cup of um, rock salt or ice cream salt. Uh, it's going to take a little more, of course, with the uh, table salt. But what that does is lower the freezing temperature of the ice, believe it or not. So it will make it a little quicker. Okay. See, if you had the zipper, it would be already done. Yes, that's true. But we're just doing this for people that's got this stuff, you know, laying around. They want to do... It's actually science, good science experiment for the kids. And, you know, it's fun to do. And it gives them something to do. Okay. Now we're going to shake it. Okay, you're going to shake it. Yeah, and we got to shake it. All right, how long? About. Well. For what you're making there, maybe which was a half a cup. Five to ten minutes. Okay, I'm going to say five to seven with what you got there. Yeah. Now, if you double it, kind of double up on, then it's going to be around ten to twelve minutes. So what we're going to do, while she's shaking that up, we're going to... She's shaking. Whoa. I think this is good exercise, you know, okay. for the cellulite. Okay. We're going to, we're going to cut right here. We'll be back with you here in a minute, guys. Okay, YouTube, we're back. Okay, I did a lot of shaking, I tell you. My arms are falling off, and my butt is tired now from shaking. But maybe I got some exercise. But how long did you shake it, babe? Not very long. Probably maybe five, six minutes. Okay. Okay. Now that's that's also desired how you know right. like how soft or right. or how yeah. So Thick you want your ice cream. We're gonna take it out and this is what your ice cream's gonna look like in the bag. Okay? Ooh, is it cold? 
And I'm going to tear this open. Well, I'm going to use scissors because I'm not as strong as Shea Bear is. So anyways, you're going to open it up and just kind of open it on the side. As you can see, we have ice cream. Okay, let me zoom in. And we also put the bowl in the freezer while you were shaking, right? Yeah, to keep it cold, so maybe it won't melt as fast. Right. So, and we used a glass bowl. Yes. Instead of a, a closed-in one that might make it melt faster. So, now we're getting it all out. Okay, so you just cut the bag and kind yeah. of turned it inside out, right? Yeah, make life easy. Yeah. Throw the bag away. No big deal. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm pointing the camera down because she's pointing the bowl down. And the more she points the bowl down, the more I put the camera down, the more I put the camera down, the more she puts the bowl down. So, anyway, all right, let's... Oops. We're going to sample it, okay? You want to sample it? Yeah, of course. Okay. Oh, yeah. Is it good? Mm-hmm. All right, we tried a batch to make sure it was going to work out right. Mm -hmm. And how was it? I like this one better. Okay, you love what? <laughs> <laughs> don't get a don't get a brain freeze. Get more. Because you added a little more uh, vanilla. Yeah, the other batch that we just did, we we were trying to figure out why we had some problems. So we found out that we needed to use uh, the gallon bags instead of a bigger bag that we had. So I ran down to the store and got one. So. That they worked lost. out, yeah. You didn't get one freezer bag. Or one. Hey, <laughs> you can't but uh, what else can you do with that to make it a little more exciting? Well, you can put things with it. You can put chocolate chips. You can put chocolate syrup in it. You could put whatever you like. Bananas, fruit, any kind yeah, of like fruit. Blueberries yeah. and strawberries. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you can put as much sugar as you want. Or you don't even have to put sugar in it if you're diabetic. And the nice or thing about this is you can put in, in one serving. So if you're trying to diet, you can just use that one serving and, and be done. Yeah, and freeze up a few bags and then yeah. all you got to do is pull a bag out of the freezer at night if you want watching a movie right. and you just want a little helping with ice cream. All you got to do is pull it out of the freezer yeah. and dump it in. You're yeah. good to go. And as well, like I said, uh, you know, you can add less sugar because of kids mm -hmm. and diabetics. You don't have to add any sugar. Nope. Or you can add a couple uh, teaspoons, tablespoons of cocoa mm -hmm. to make chocolate if you want. Yep, and you can just be creative on your own and explore. That's right, very good. That's a very good idea. Yeah. Well, Monkey, how'd it go? I think it went pretty good. I like this one the best because I put more vanilla in this one. Right. Yeah. So, and you put like how much in that you think? Uh, what did you do? I used two tablespoons. Teaspoons. Teaspoons, sorry. Yeah, teaspoons. No, you don't want to put... No, man, not like, tablespoons. Yeah, and like we explained, do not use uh, that much on vanilla ex extract. No. If you use extract, you're going to want to use about a half a teaspoon. Right, because right. it's stronger. Yes, very. And very I probably would like the extract better because it is flavor. It's natural. So it probably tastes better. Yeah, you're in the health. I understand. Look at the camera, babe. You're looking at me. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, huh? Yeah, I try. Okay, so where are you going Tuesday night? Well, I have a doctor appointment that's going to be in Tampa. And um, this is for my brain. But I can't really talk about it because it's from the car wreck. Anyways, we are also, we're going to spend the night, the night before... And we are going to go and spend the night at a haunted hotel. No. It's in Tampa. Uh, no. It's well, in it's in St. Pete's. St. Yeah. Petersburg. Yeah. Yeah. It's in St. Pete's. And, and we're going to spend the night Tuesday night there. And 
we'll explore the, the town there because it's got areas like there's, I believe, a restaurant there that's got hauntedness. Yes, yeah, a seafood restaurant. Yeah, and there, you can walk around the town and stuff. So we'll have fun, a little bit of fun before. So let me ask you. We found that on the internet, right? Mm-hmm, yes. Okay, the hotel is called, what is it, Indigo? Indigo Hotel. Hotel Indigo. Yeah. Hotel it used Indigo. to be the Martha Washington Hotel when right. it was built. It opened in 1926. Mm -hmm. But, so, I didn't believe the internet, did I? No. What did I do? Research? <laughs> oh, well, you called them. <laughs> he called them and the lady at the desk didn't really know anything. No, she wasn't at the desk. She was a receptionist. Oh, was she? Well, then she didn't really know anything. So she referred him to another a, a man. I guess he was the manager? He was the desk clerk manager. The desk clerk manager. And I guess he had had many hauntings there. So he, he had told you a few things. So yeah. What, you know. So we're going to, you know, check that out. We'll do a live feed and uh, stuff like that. But anyway, this is about the ice cream. And don't forget the giveaway uh, Saturday the 14th, y'all. Yep. Yep. Okay. So with that being said. I'm out. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> and she's, us She's oh, using. Oh, I do this. Bye. <laughs> yeah. She's using my, my thing. I'm out. Okay, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate everything. We hope you have a great week, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. So, now, that being said, <laughs> take two. <laughs> Monkey is scratching. Monkey's gone. <laughs> bye. All right, bye, guys. Shea Bear, I'm gone. See y'all. Have a good one.